Welcome back YouTube. Fun Chop Piper here. Well today we're going to talk about uh, drawing smoke out of your tobacco pipe. Now let me give you a little bit of history about my pipe smoking adventure that I've been on for 30 years. I've been smoking on and off a pipe for 30 years and just now have recently gotten back into it and seriously gotten back into it. Um, but I've always been plagued by three things. One, I have a fast cadence. Seem to seem to draw uh, draw the smoke uh, too fast. I try to slow down, but just sometimes I just can't do it. And in turn, what that does is it causes tongue bite for one. Uh, two, it causes uh, well, the second thing that I'm plagued with is I'm a wet smoker. Um, I use maybe five or six pipe cleaners every time I smoke. And then the third thing is that my bowl gets really, really hot. So I end up having to put it down for a few seconds, let it, let it cool down, or I try to slow my cadence. Well, I got to thinking... You know, it's probably the way I was taught, and really I wasn't taught. Um, I was, I just picked it up and I just kind of looked at what other, how other people were doing it, and I just emulated them. So the other day I just kind of got frustrated and says, man, this is ridiculous. I need to figure out some way to be able to en enjoy my pipe smoking more than I do now without all these problems, without the tongue bite, without the being wet, uh, the wet smoke, and, uh, and having my bowl be so hot. So I kind of started messing around and uh, I figured out an alternative way to draw your pipe. Now, since I was never taught and I, I sort of just started smoking a pipe on my own, this may be the normal way. This may be the way that everybody else smokes a pipe. So you'll see this video and go, well, what's the guys talking about? This is the way I smoke all the time. So it's nothing new. Okay, but it is to me. And this might be something good for a, a new smoker who has just picked up the hobby or have been smoking six months to a year and quite can't understand why they're constantly getting tongue bite. So, uh, what I want to show you is what I have discovered. A little bit of housekeeping first. Uh, I am smoking out of my Savinelli Hercules and I am smoking Russellette's Firestorm. This is one of my favorite blends. If you haven't tried it, it's really worth trying. It's, a, it's, it's dynamite. Okay, so the way I was taught to smoke a pipe was you clench it between your teeth, close your mouth, and draw out of the end, out, out of the mouthpiece. Well, by doing that, the smoke, especially if I'm, my cadence is so fast, the bowl heats up. Next thing you know, I've got hot smoke coming through my stem, hitting my tongue. Thus, I get tongue bite. Plus, by clenching and closing my mouth, the saliva has nowhere else to go but in the end of my pipe. So within, I'd say, a quarter bowl, I'm already on my first pipe cleaner, shoving it down there to get that cleaned out. So what I've discovered is by doing this alternative way of uh, drawing my drawing the smoke out of my pipe, it one it alleviates the tongue bite, two. It alleviates the uh, moisture problem and finally my bowl's not so hot. So what's this trick that I've discovered that you probably already know? Well, I decided that I was going to kind of leave my mouth open as I drew in the smoke. I'd clench it, but instead of closing my mouth around uh, the bit, I was going to keep my mouth slightly open <clears throat> to where when I draw I draw 
smoke, but I also draw in air, oxygen through my mouth. So what happens is, is I draw and, and actually I'm, I'm drawing, I'm not concentrating on drawing from the tip or from my mouthpiece. I'm concentrating on drawing, just taking a breath, breathing in. Now I'm not saying breathe in and it'll go into your lungs. I'm saying just kind of breathe, breathe into your mouth. Uh, suck the surrounding air into your mouth. And when you do that, uh, the pressure of you drawing that oxygen will automatically draw that smoke into your mouth. So I noticed that when I did that, as soon as the smoke hit my mouth, combined with that oxygen, since the oxygen around is colder, it cooled the smoke, it cooled the smoke like that before it hit my tongue. So the tongue bite went away. And then I also noticed that by opening my mouth while I got it clenched, the saliva had other places to go. You know, it had other cheek to go where I could swallow. Um, and it wasn't, uh, I wasn't getting as wet a smoke uh, as I was before. And then by drawing in that oxygen and then the smoke sort of comes, comes along for the ride, I noticed that even if I had a fast cadence, my bowl would not get hot. So there you go. That's my, that's my great trick. Now this may be something that uh, you old timers or even new smokers have already discovered. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I've just recently discovered it and it's made my smoking pleasure that much more enjoyable. So again, let's review. Uh, I was taught to clench, uh, clench the mouthpiece and close my mouth and draw straight from the mouthpiece, which caused tongue bite, a wet smoke, and a hot bowl. So now what I do is I keep, I clench <clears throat> my pipe, but I keep my mouth open. Not, not ah, like that, but you know, just, you know, like that. Keep it open. And draw kind of like you're sucking out of a straw but you do it without, without all the noise so when you draw it automatically draws and that smoke you or that oxygen you can tell when it's as it's coming into your mouth that it's cold or cool and it instantly cools that smoke the saliva has other places to go besides into the mouthpiece. And by consequence, it cools the bowl. So, um, like I said, when you do it, kind of concentrate on breathing from right here. Let's see if I can start up my pipe and see, if, see what we get. Now, my cadence is not this fast, but I'm just trying to give you an example. Something else, too, is that oxygen, it hits my tongue. So it sort of cools my tongue and the smoke at the same time. So there you go. Um, uh, give that give that alternative way of smoking your pipe a, pipe a try and see if it helps out if you have the same problems I do um, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about next time uh, it'll come off the top of my head I do have a couple ideas uh, for down the road uh, so until I get those videos up on YouTube I want to wish you and your family happy piping.